to rain off and on all day be really cloudy all day it's gonna be one of those sleepy days but we've got stuff to do so hopefully this coffee will get me going changing day not quite as enjoyable as clean sheets day but you know so this one that I'm putting up right now is a better homes and gardens one I got both of these from Walmart y'all but I don't like this better homes and gardens one as much as I like the mainstays one if I remember right the price on this one was around $25 this one maybe 12 to 15 this heavy thick long one doesn't have time to dry in between you know all the different showers and things like that that go on and so within like two or three days this one has a really stinky smell because it just you know it never fully dries and I don't want to hang it on the outside of the tub to dry because then water is you know going to drip all over the floor that's the reason I like these mainstay ones better they dry completely and then we can use this one for like a week or a week and a half before I even you know need to switch it out and wash it planches will start coming loose and uh, they need to be reset or put a brand new shoe on. The shoe's still pretty good so nothing wrong with the shoe we'll probably just reset those. What that means is I'll take them off clean the foot up trim it put that shoe in the forwards clean the shoe up really really good and then we'll reset that one. <laughs> It is lunchtime now. I just made some chicken strips today. I made some of the regular ones and some spicy ones. So we're just having chicken strips and then whatever sides the kids want. I just made a little salad. Well, I don't even know if you would call that a salad. It's just some spring mix. Pepper jack cheese stick, pepper, and chicken strips. I'm using this spicy ranch that we got from Aldi. It's not extremely spicy. I mean, there it is a little bit, but not very much at all.
All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and start supper. The first thing we're gonna do is make the broccoli bread. So we need cornmeal, cottage cheese. And the flour. And the flour. We need salt, and baking milk. soda, and baking powder. And we need five eggs. The recipe specifically says for them to be room temperature, so we'll just grab five over here from the shelf. Okay, so we'll wash those in just a second. So we're gonna be using fresh broccoli. You can use frozen, but if you're using fresh, you need to steam it first. So we're gonna put this in the microwave. It says for four to five, three to four minutes. I was looking at the wrong one. So we're gonna put this in the microwave for four minutes. And I got this. Sissy's gonna be doing the dry ingredients. We need one cup of cornmeal, Sissy. Okay. And a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour over here. All right. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. We got a lot of helpers in here today, huh? Nobody's playing outside because it's raining. Um, and you need three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And that's it for the dry. You can go ahead and mix all that up. What do I do with that towel? A cup in the washer in that thing. Just maybe you want to taste it? No, it's just sugar. Okay, for the wet ingredients, First thing we're gonna put in here is the five eggs at room temperature. Go ahead and start whisking those together. That's called beating the eggs. Oh. Then we will do sugar. We don't put sugar in this one. Now what we will do? Now we will put in one and a half cups of cottage cheese. Is that a surprise ingredient? Um, yeah. Yep, it's a surprise. Woo! Ah, a big. <laughs> Whoa, I can hold some. Ew. We need three fourths of a cup of melted butter and one onion. I gotta chop that up real quick. Cece's shredding the cheese. All right, we're putting in a cup and a half of shredded cheddar. Okay, I think we'll add the dry ingredients in first, Sissy, and then we'll add the broccoli. Okay. She's gonna go ahead and dump that in. With this, we're gonna make some pork chops, creamed corn. I was gonna do smashed potatoes with it, but I still don't have the propane tank uh, for my Blackstone switched out. And plus it's raining and a little bit windy out there today, so I'm just gonna do creamed corn, the pork chops, and maybe some green beans or something, we'll see. Okay, so now we're gonna add the broccoli, and some of these that are really big, I'm gonna chop them just a little bit as we add them in, so there's not such, you know, huge pieces throughout. Broccoli bread is in the oven. We cleaned up that mess real quick. Now we're gonna start the creamed corn back here. So we just put four tablespoons of butter in there. Now we're gonna put about three tablespoons of flour. It doesn't matter if you use all-purpose or self-rising here. Oh, pile of flour in this. Be back. So we just mix the butter and the flour together until it's all combined. Then we're gonna put in one cup of milk. All right, when that starts to simmer, which is about to now, we're gonna put in two pounds of frozen corn. We're gonna put some salt and pepper in here. And we also put one tablespoon of sugar. And that's it, I'm gonna mix this together, put the top on it, and then we just have to stir it pretty frequently because this will stick to the bottom on you. Once it starts really melting down the corn, we'll turn it down to simmer. Well, you know, not melting the corn, but uh, thawing. Thawing is a better word there. Thawing the corn. 